Where is our little friend, our little buddy that came from the nether all the way out into our base? I know while I was off camera, he wandered out here and I closed the door behind him. So hopefully, hopefully he's still out here somewhere wandering around. Where is he at? Let's see. Maybe if we turn this corner, we'll be able to see him. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. There's our guy. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. And named. You are now Godzilla. I mean... I had to go with that name guys look at the size of this chicken this is one crazy looking chicken and dangerous looking chicken you are our new best friend oh godzilla you just laid an egg this is <laughs> this is a miracle let's see can thunderstruck twice no it's probably because i said can thunderstruck twice whatever that means anyway guys me and godzilla welcome you back to another episode on the cornerstone smp and we actually found the source of little Mrs. Godzilla back here and how she came to be in the nether and then our new best friend. Actually, Elementalist75, one of the newest members here on the Cornerstone SMP, was in the nether trying to get around and threw the only egg they had and out came Godzilla, the dangerous chicken that she now is today but we love her for that anyway enough with godzilla guys we need to get on to the rest of the episode so let me show you what i've been doing in between episodes what the heck why are the mobs so bad all of a sudden not only are there tons of mobs out here but there is let's see if he's still yep he's still there on top of my house a creeper on top of my house where's my bow here it is get out of there so in the last episode guys we put this little foundation for our Parthenon down. But what I was doing in between episodes was collecting quartz, because we need so much quartz, guys. So I got this and this full of quartz. Let's see, is any of this? No, that's all sandstone. So I have this amount and then this amount of quartz. And I'll tell you guys, this was a grind. What a grind. I want to thank um, Hicks for helping me out a little bit. Also, um, Bodhi let me use his trading hall. So Thank you to you, those guys. This is crazy. I also been trading with my villagers a little bit. Just trying to get some more quartz. You guys have no idea. But I also worked on the floor. Oh my god. This looks ridiculous right now. This is the base layer for the Parthenon. And this is the whole thing down. This was crazy. And in here is now the biggest mob farm you've ever seen in Minecraft. Let me just... Let me just pop in real quick to show you just how stupid this is. Just how unbelievably ridiculous the amount of mobs in here is. Let me just, I don't want to have to do it, but maybe I should, I'll just do it. Look at this. Look at, look at how dumb this looks. If I, if I closed off this side, it'd be, oh my gosh, that is a lot of mobs. I forgot that this side was even open. I could just fly in here. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. Oh my gosh. Guys, I am standing in front of probably one of my favorite shops that has ever gone up on this server and it is not open yet but this is gonna be my place guys i'm gonna waste all my diamonds here this is a new shop that has recently popped up since my last video and i believe um the absolute newest member of the cornerstone smp made this jack's shack and jack of all trades is the newest member so i'm assuming that's who made this also i saw that he put out a video and that's how i know i can show you this this isn't a spoiler or anything but guys look at this best shop ever hands down concrete okay all these are going to be filled in i assume with more concrete colors because there's concrete over here too colors of concrete so this is probably all going to be concrete that's incredible over here look at this look at this granite diorite andesite this is this is huge this is absolutely massive one diamond for four stacks what a deal what a good deal also behind me sandstone sand glass stone bricks my favorite block in the game quartz guys this is great this is definitely my favorite shop that has gone up on the server so far this is just everything i need but in the last episode of cornerstone we worked on this the entrance to the town hall and i think it's looking beautiful fountain still rusty it's a sculpture now okay it's not even a fountain anymore but yeah, I'm so glad with how this turned out, and it looks it looks good. It completed this area, and we can finally call this project basically done. I mean, we can do a couple tidy up things, 
but um, I'm going to call this done for now. Also, I'm smelling something a little foul. Something stinks a little bit, and I think it's over here in our iron shop. I think it's smelling a little bit... You know what? Smell a little bit shiny. Let's let's take a look. Maybe we have some profits. Unbelievable. We sold out of iron again. I'm gonna have to do more AFKing in between episodes. Let's see. We made 11 diamonds to add to this stack of diamonds. And you guys are probably wondering what the heck is there 16 diamonds in here for? Actually, let me just. Okay. Um, this I actually got while I was mining for stone, and that brings me to today's episode. Yes, that's right guys. Today we are going to be building something other than in the Greep Village and other than the Town Hall or the Parthenon. We are actually going to be building another shop here in the shopping district. And I'm deciding to do something a little bit different for you guys at least. Ow. You see, most of my Minecraft playing time, I did medieval style, castles, all sorts of stuff like that. And I haven't done any of that here on Cornerstone, and I wanted to bring that into this season of, you know, Minecraft for me, this journey, and um, kind of pay homage to my medieval roots. And that's kind of my best building style, so that's what I kind of wanted to work with. And so what this shop is going to be is a castle. Not a huge castle, obviously. We don't have that much time, space, or resources, but a okay sized castle right here plopped down in the middle of the shopping district somewhere somewhere yet to be decided i'm gonna have to figure it out but it's gonna be awesome guys i hope you stick around to watch this is gonna be a really exciting episode but i need to go collect just a few more resources and i'll see you right back here once i found a spot all right guys and with all the materials collected and it's nighttime. hold on place down the yellow lemon bed real quick ah okay good morning good morning nobody else is on so i'm sleeping myself it's okay. It's fine. I'm a loser. It's fine. But guys, setting up shop here, literally, quite literally setting up shop. This is where it's going to go. It's going to be kind of awkward. Um, the castle is longer than it is back, so it's kind of like thin. Uh, we're going to have to put something in the back. We'll probably put some rock piles and some trees and some barrels and stuff. It'll look nice. But it's going to go right here, but the entrance is going to be off a little bit, so this path is going to curve to it. Um, it's going to look good, guys. These are... All the materials we're using for it right here and right here so guys back to my roots of the medieval building if you want more medieval building honestly you can go watch my let's play that i did um a couple months back and i have a bunch of videos there um and that whole village is medieval although i definitely was not as good at building as i am now but you know still good to watch if you want to watch it um we're gonna get moving here guys i think we're gonna hop into a time lapse if you're ready guys this is it's gonna be good i hope you guys enjoy this should be a fun time lapse let's do it And guys, after a little bit of time, we completed our new castle build here in the shopping district. Now, this is going to be a shop. It still has a little ways to go. 
as far as opening the shop but the shell for it is basically done and i hope you guys like this back to my roots my medieval roots and i was really enjoying this build when i made this in my creative world i was so excited to just build this here on the cornerstone server i have a very hard time in minecraft with symmetry i just i have to have everything symmetrical so with this build i tried to really challenge myself and make it you know asymmetrical and try and make it more natural especially even the texturing and everything and the color i think this turned out well i hope you guys really like this build and i'm gonna work on a few other things for it to you know do our grand opening and everything but for now let's head on back to the greek village where are you at my little friend where are you where are you there you are wonderful any more eggs for me any more eggs no no more eggs that's okay We'll come back down here in a bit and we'll see if you uh if you decide to lay any eggs godzilla please come here let me pet you please i just want to pet you well guys right here is our current project other than what we just built obviously this is our home project here and we need to get this moving a little more and it is a grind obviously it's huge guys you guys can tell but i need to get some of the laying out in place i don't have enough quartz to finish the build but i do have enough to kind of get it moving a little bit. So I think I'm gonna lay out the pillars, maybe build it up a few blocks as much as I can do. And um, we'll just see how far we can get. I'm gonna time lapse this guys. So I hope you enjoy this as well. Let's do it. And we built up some pillars, guys. This was crazy, actually. These stairs were really difficult to get working, but we have them completed as of right now. Now, right here, there's supposed to be some lanterns, but I couldn't get them because uh, I don't have enough. I mean, I have some. I guess I could you know, pop one down every once in a while. But see, this is the problem. This is why this is such a chore on these pillars. I have to go all the way around it every time I want to do something, every layer I want to build. I go all the way around the whole thing and it takes a lot of materials guys just so many materials it's unbelievable but you know we're we're getting there slowly that's why we're taking this in small pieces guys try not to rush it too much we're just kind of having fun here don't want to tire myself out of building this thing i want to you know enjoy the build so that's why we're not doing this all in one or two episodes we're kind of just breaking it up through a couple episodes and it's coming together guys we're gonna have a really cool scene here once we get this done up on this hill and um i have more plans i have more plans for the entrance and everything here uh, obviously it's not just gonna be this bland we're gonna incorporate it massively and i mean we still have massive expansion to do with this this village and city all around here possibly some more artificial mountains and whatnot guys but it's coming together and it's looking really really gigantic i am super proud of this it's my first kind of huge mega build type of thing on this server so this is great this is really i'm happy with this and our you know stock of quartz is looking okay it, that's still we still need about um another like double this i think but then we'll be good oh yes oh yes godzilla has laid an egg Whew, come on Come on, come on. No, no, okay. Godzilla, you keep you keep doing that. Keep putting out some eggs. Let's see, is there any over here that she left for us? Any eggs, any eggs up in her favorite corner? No, no eggs, okay. That's fine, we need to make, we need to make a little place for her to permanently live. You know, this is, 
This is no place for a chicken of her caliber. Here we are, guys, and the rain is giving us a real ominous walk up to our castle. And if we turn this corner, here we are, guys. And I put a little bit of work into the area around the castle. I put some stones, some leaves, some shrubbery, some lanterns, and I think it looks nice. I needed to texture it, blend it into the ground a little more so it wasn't just placed here. And guys, you know how I feel about landscaping. It is a massive, massive improvement to your build. So let's head on inside. And inside, away from the cold, we have our nice little build here. And uh, yeah, not too much is going on here. You know, I mean, these side rooms basically have just random stuff in them. This one even doesn't, this is just, it goes all the way up to the top of our blue tower and there's nothing up here yet. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know what we could put up here. Um, who knows? Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually, but here we go. Let's go down here and this is what the shop is, guys. So this is the build castle. I need to come up with a better name possibly. Maybe you guys can help me out with the name. But basically at this shop, I can design you a build, build it for you, and then uh, you can pay me based on um, what the build was, the size, you know, how difficult the materials were to get. Um, and basically this is just, you know, fun. I, I really like building, I wanna help people. And if someone has something in mind and they really can't figure it out, maybe I could uh, try and design it creative or whatever, and then build it here for them on the server. Um, and I'm not gonna go too crazy with the prices either, but yeah, this is just kind of a fun, a fun store that people can come into and, you know, order some builds if they want me to do a build for them. So yeah, hopefully this, uh, hopefully this shop works out. I'd love to do some builds for people. That'd be really fun. And I added some signs, making sure they read the book. Um, and then if you guys read the book, um, they basically can just send me a discord message with their ideas. Uh, we could brainstorm a little bit and then I could, uh, they can let me know where they want it. I could build it. And then uh, I'll let them know the price, and then this is the payment box right here. So hopefully they're able to figure this all out. I, I don't want to make this too confusing, so hopefully it makes sense. Because I also was visited, and I got some cool little micro blocks here. Some spruce log and spruce planks that I think add just a little something to the build. And I did continue this landscaping-ish thing all the way around the backside. So it isn't too much of anything, it's just enough to basically make it blend in a little better and let's see the kind of view hicks is going to get over from here and oh yeah yeah this is a nice a nice build we made here guys i'm very i'm very happy with the way it came out hopefully we're going to get some sales here i'm really hoping and i do want to just check on one other thing oh yes and there are sales here massive sales in the mending store and guys i think i'm going to lower the price i feel like three diamonds a book is a little much so let's switch this up each book is two diamonds. That sounds that sounds better to me. That sign looks incredibly weird. Whatever. I mean, it, it makes sense. The bottom. That's all that needs to happen. It makes sense. So prices changed in here. And then one of the thing, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. No. Still not open. Still not open. But I think it's coming soon, guys. I really do. I'm super happy to have uh, have Jack of All Trades join us on this server as this is going to be oof oof oh I'm getting chills oh I'm really excited for this uh, for this shot to be open and let's check out our count of diamonds so far let's just plop this bad boy down and see five more blocks and there we are guys I guess we're racking them up okay not too good hopefully we're going to make some more from the build shop and guys I hope you enjoyed this episode unfortunately this is going to have to be it for now and i hope you stick around and watch the next episode that'll be coming out very soon so if you guys enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already for more episodes here on the cornerstone smp also i just recently put out a video uh, about building and some different tricks that i like to use when i'm building to transform uh you know a normal minecraft starter house into something a lot better if that sounds interesting to you please go check that out support that guys but thank you for watching this episode on the cornerstone smp and I'll see you in the next one.